Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to our lesson today. Our discussion is on expanding algebraic expressions. Our objective is to be able to multiply out brackets and simplify. Kindly if you are new to this channel please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications and I assure you that you will be getting the best out of this channel. Our discussion shall be based on examples. Our first example, expand the following expressions a x into x plus 2. This means x multiplied by everything inside the brackets or simply x must be multiplied by x and x must also be multiplied by positive 2. This is what we call distributive property. So let's multiply x multiplied by x. This gives us x squared. Then x multiplied by positive 2. It gives us positive 2x. That is our answer. Then question B, 2x into x minus 3. We shall take 2x multiplied by x. This gives us 2x squared. Then 2x multiplied by negative 3. It gives us negative 6x, which becomes our answer. Example 2, expand and simplify the following expressions. First expression, x plus 3 into x plus 2. It therefore means x plus 3 must be multiplied by x plus 2. So what is the procedure? First of all, we are going to have the first term in the first bracket, that is x, multiplied by the whole of the second bracket like this x into x plus 2 then we move on to plus 3 multiplied by x plus 2 which can be written as plus 3 into x plus 2 ours is now to expand so how do we expand we said anything that is outside the brackets must be multiplied by every term that is inside the bracket. So we begin with x multiplied by x, which gives us x squared. Then we move to x multiplied by positive 2, which gives us plus 2x. We move to the next, 3 times x, that is plus 3x. Then plus 3 multiplied by plus 2. This gives us positive 6. It's good to take note that in the middle of this expression there are like terms that is 2x plus 3x. 2x plus 3x is positive 5x. Therefore uh, this becomes x squared plus 5x plus 6 which is our answer. Question B. x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 1. We first take x multiplied by x minus 1, then plus 1 multiplied by x minus 1. Now we expand the brackets to open them up x times x is x squared then x times negative 1 is negative x plus 1 times x gives us plus x and then plus 1 times negative 1 this gives us negative 1 we have common terms that is negative x plus x which of course gives us zero. So our 
our expression narrows down to x squared minus 1, which is our answer to that. Question 3. Expand and simplify the following expressions. First expression, x squared minus 5 multiplied by x plus 3. As usual, we have x squared multiplied by x plus 3, then minus 5 multiplied by x plus 3. Opening up the brackets, we have x squared times x, which is x cubed, then x squared times positive 3, this gives us plus 3x squared, then minus 5 times x, this is minus 5x, then negative 5 times positive 3. This gives us negative 15. So then, that is our answer, which is x cubed plus 3x squared minus 5x minus 15, since we don't have any like terms in that expression. Question B. x minus 4 everything squared. Whenever we have a number squared, it means the number must be multiplied by itself. So, this means x minus 4 times x minus 4. So, we have x multiplied by x minus 4, then minus 4 multiplied by x minus 4. We now open up the brackets, we, we have x times x, which is x squared, x times negative 4, which is negative 4x, negative 4 times x, this gives us negative 4x, then negative 4 times negative 4, it gives us positive 16. We have like terms, that is negative 4x minus 4x, which gives us negative 8x. So our expression becomes x squared minus 8x plus 16, and that is our final answer. It's now your turn to try out some questions and test your understanding. Expand the following expressions and simplify. 1. x into 2x minus 5. 2. x minus 3 multiplied by x plus 10. 3. 5x plus 3 multiplied by 2x minus 1. 4. x squared plus 3 multiplied by x minus 4. 5, x plus 5, everything squared. Next lesson will be coming very soon. I hope to see you then.